come on Magaraghetto. Christ is secretary in our lives. He is very busy preparing rooms for us in his father's house. Unfortunately, there is no space for Christ in our lives. And the best we can say is we are believers. We are question is, where does Jesus surface in your life? You put him aside. You are in your own things. And Christ has been just away from your life. Nitwereha, tutandika kugambira abantu kuti jaba Christ wa Kristo. Tutandika kugamba kuti jaba Kristo wa runji. Konka Kristo twamubinjira mu magara gitu. I stay and spend my days, my moments in the farm when it is time to go and praise him. I've put him aside. Sunday, Mukashi shall cook breakfast. 
first to Ghana. Sometimes to very serious struggle I'm having to life, just life. So as a Sunday so come tell us missing I'm no longer have to come be and dog my daddy ever book my time difference I hear the nature he come. So be a dog my daddy ever and pack a Kadiana we ranch to Ashtamaya and Gukishi now Jan Cassidazi. Ya twasheka kuya jangwa gwechi washeka mutale na kwete kishi na mjanti dadi tichago mochire munonga titoka basa kunyeta kishi so my father was a hilarious man my father was a noble man my father was a country man and my father was god fearing so mugiye byo byona ruhanga yasha na mukumweka rudiza ngenu ndabashaba Nye na wali hanu. Koku ngisho mbukinji. Mugume mutu kwa atireo. Mutu kuzire. Kandi tuwa wali abyo vile wala kono mbisnes yege. Ndaba shaba mga wetu abutu vile abutu rapora ni mge. Mutu yambe mulewe mbu bisnes yetu ya mbizamu omumisho because all we are looking for now is continuity and we have to move on. My photocopy. My twin. All my life I've been staying with Muse under the same roof. So when when Muse was taken, I had enjoyed a lot of time with him. Uh, in the last four years since my mom had passed, we were staying only two people in the house. So I am Muse Peter. I want to tell you, Doctor Olenji, I'm just a tongue mum cousin. I'm just a Muse. So we share our two. Four days later, after my wedding, I was at Patwai. So I've been wondering, but I realized all those dinners and breakfasts, we would spend Sundays together the whole day. I got so much wisdom and knowledge, access to people who are looking to this knowledge and wisdom imparted to me. So I say thank you. Catch you for it. Two time we spent together at Jatukatu in Nairobi recently. A car a chair of headaches, so it was a for checkups at the Kano Hospital. What was interesting is that Tukarara Murume Mwe, Obutanda Uchewiri, Akajirangwa A, Sturashi Shese, the set at Tizire Viro, Katurari Mukaru Mukamu. So Nanye na Chichir is because he is my leader. So but I noticed something about his routine of what I am quite mukakushawasha coming him with no quara poru exercise which I which Nari Changwata or because at our age to a chirakuyama. So anyway, that little experience to do in Nairobi, it was a very good experience. 
then a obashi mbere yoku ija kunu ya mbere ndi na wena bwe kunu mucharo tukaza kuzigife mu Kenya nya twagaruka wara manzani kuryembaga eh akayo no wabo fire side za cherero ya sindika ya amabugo so he's a, a man of the people we are kunda kuja kunu every month then uh, the last time of Gabi Rari Muchachi yite jimpe ya yombe chile Tukwa tuli hamu Kwa yeshu ongora munonga That day akaro kwa yanu nji munonga And I saw he was very happy Aba hane said So probably that was a good buy for him Tienga bahuri limu Kama siu Ama zi na no kwe tuwa Na wanyeta abosu rola natulida Ndiyo muhele za wenjiri Are heavy into we shall do a being cosily a chindi on Magagi and Sage. Daka Gambere, a Gunamacha Wanji, the Ronji Shia Katurinda, to Navana Babidi or Mishamano Mojo. The first thing that has made me who I am today is God Himself through Christ. The second thing that has made me who I am today was the mother that brought me to this world. The values she instilled in us and the morals, and the respect for people. Last but not least, the general that lies before us today. There are no words I can use to describe our relationship, cause he never made me feel like out of place. Words have been spoken about him, I don't want to repeat them. Everyone has had a different relationship with him. But please allow me to thank a few people. I know the protocol was already observed. We lost the Moses, but we have Caleb's here. We have Joshua's here. When you return to, this, to the state house, please tell the Excellency that we are going to fill the shoes. We're going, to, we're going to bridge the gap and we'll continue his legacy. In a special way, allow me to thank General Chivumbi. Wherever you are, please come forward with the Dr. Witojo. Just briefly, please, I know why I'm saying this. I want my siblings to know what he did for us in absentia. And also allow me to thank Uganda Meat Producers Cooperative Union, where I'm a board. We've got your condolence messages, thank you. The chairman, I think, is also here. And also allow me to thank Hope Discovery Church. I've seen the bishop is here. And some people here. Because I was the pastor in our family to the scene, they pull all strings, so they all <coughs> to see the body of our father handled with dignity and with respect until it left it off. General Sabin could not sit down. He made sure that he got all attention. He said, this great statesman cannot go in a mortuary. He refused that. He was treated with respect. And please, let us give them a hand clap for all the great efforts. Dad, may you so rest in peace. His children will celebrate the unconditional love and will bring support and cherished memories that we shared with our beloved dad. Dad was a lot more than just a father. He was a pillar, a cornerstone of strength, a guiding star, an irrepressible source of inspiration. Our dad, our dad's most notable future was uh, his height. He was over six feet tall. You would think his tower presence would be intimidating, but he was the most kind and the gentleman I have ever known. Over the years, we have all learned that our daddy's love had no limits. A man devoted to his family beyond measures, 
a man with balanced devotion to both his immediate and extended family circles. He's, he remarkably embraced the role of a father with both hands and wholeheartedly, with happiness, love, care, and support. The general well-being of his love, loved ones was top the prior, on the priority list. His selfness extended beyond the coffins of the family home. He went an extra mile to make positive contribution and lasting impact on the lives of those around him, including those with views different from his. He was a, a gifted and remarkable person with unique abilities to turn even simple moments into cherished memories. He shared with everybody simply, simply, simple and funny childhood moments that truly exhibited in his humility and down-to-earth character. He paid extraordinary attention to mentoring us, guide us on the right path of life, and led by example. He instilled in us the values of hard work, compassion, integrity, uh, selfless, perseverance, perseverance, and above all, the fear and love of the Almighty God. He encouraged us to dream big and provided immense encouragement and provided support all the way. We are what we are because of his wise counsel, which we forever take a special place in our hearts. He was there to share our good moments whenever we achieved milestones like birthdays, education, marriage, etc. Dad was equally comforting to all of us whenever we faced challenges. All this pushed us to achieve beyond our own imagination. He taught us to be resilient, adopt the never given up altitude. I cannot find enough words to describe our dad. He had a strong spirit, a big heart filled with a lot of compassion for everybody. The gap left behind by his sudden death is incomprehensible. But his legacy will live on. Today we say our farewell, but most of all to remember his remarkable life, integrity, love and care, compassion, toughness to mankind and his love and faith in God. We pledge and promise to carry on over that his legacy with a lot of pride building on the firm foundation he has established for us. We thank everybody. Everybody, we have business, but we count on your wise counsel and full support. To our great mother, Mrs. Vanj Nyegamehe, we pledge our commitment of unity support, supporting you and work together as a strong united family. Dad, we love you and we will forever miss you. In a special way, we want to thank uh, the wife to the late Madirizi, Saroma Limited, Mama Mary. Yes. Both for the interest of saving time and also because the life of our foreign comrade has been extensively talked about. The first point is to thank his family, his wife, his children. You heard them speak. They have been mentored by Aponye. They worked with Aponye and they are prepared to continue the good work that Aponye has been doing. All I can say is that the friends of Aponye will stand by the side of the family as the family continues to make more and more progress. The second point I want to make is 
that Aponye, his personality, his commitment was to uplift not only himself, but also uplift many others. You will find many people in Muhanga here, in Kigezi, in Uganda, and in the neighboring countries talking about him as somebody who helped them come up in business, for example. It is also interesting that whereas Akonyo could have easily put his factories in Kampala and really made money, he decided to make it easier for the people, the producers, the producers of maize and grain in general. Hence, the factory in Chazanga, another factory in Mubende, to make it easier for the producers to get what was due to them. In addition, Aponye helped government. You and me know very well that quite often we used to have problems of market for our produce especially means. But when Aponye and his colleagues in the Green Council organized themselves, they have now turned grain and maize in particular to be a significant cash crop in Uganda and also a significant commodity for export uh, to the neighboring country. See, I have gamma karage, candy have no gig of gamma's room or so. The end of sea maruhanga in the Katikamba and Aba Charabendi, Aba in Navasia, Nijome, Omovantu, Abi Navasia Bawani, Novon Tarukuma and Tarim Makaga, I have Ganjo and Jaya Tarinjira. Yenda kusima wa shuzi. Aliko mzee kindi kumanyaya ya taka ambisha kachini. Kani uli mtuwe no wai ya shugi ya nawe ni mumanya na baliko na watali. Kani daka ino kenjekechi kachahiru. Akatula inetaya rezeye. Eyi ya asifa kozi la chahinguka yona binoti. Anoti nga nama zina gaba ntuwe ya wasi. Accident.
the bereaved family of the late Aponye Gamehe, no commonly known as Aponye, and all of you fellow mourners. The Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development learned with profound sadness of the death of the late Aporo Nyegamehe, popularly known as Aponye, who passed on in a motor accident on Thursday, 6th June 2023. The Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, together with all the economic actors, have lost a key player and contributor to the growth of the economy of our country at large. The late Apollo has made enormous contribution in solving the problem of food security. He has greatly contributed to the construction sector, the transport sector, the retail business, and the provision of many jobs, Ugandan, of many jobs to Ugandans through his chain of businesses. The Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development highly regarded the late upper amongst the special Ugandans who have contributed to the social economic transformation of our economy. <laughs> I mean, you have to manage the government. Ako kasente ogaruko kakoze sejeti kakora kaya mbaba andi kumbe kamera mizo kakore mirimo ya ruhanga mirimo ya ruhanga iwatora agumara chukora tumukama nkosele birunji nkosele birunji ogori yorete umbitwa musha so mkore munonga chonda jato achinjira hari apo konka nyombu kine nawe apo roku no mshia ya habira nisitegi Kaba turu kumwe jumba nyowe na wena obedi. So tuwaza umu president, umu president's office. Dine vitu kuratire. So aporo wa mbuza. Isi matai munu. Awe wakawara mbuzi zina liye yomu na rapu. Ya jati mashamu nyowe mutangoma. Ate chigambo chida manyane chigambo chumwe bukura. Bukura chila maisa unye ncha kari. So kaya kandire bukura vaja mbubu ni terrorist. Tuisha ho, tuwa bashowora, yangu mshija wewe tara imanya, yoru harapu, tuwa gunzamu, tuwa atambra, kwa wakati kuya herize ya yega bjinja vira rama nya ho bjinji, na mweni kutu watura bukana, tuwa nzaku, kuza ta ana grush, I was on Saint Ezra. So, Konka Kuri Ajuba, I want to know that I am not just that. I am a Grush of Koyi, I am a Grush Mafia. On Saint Ezra, I am there. 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 Tuwa tuwa na gaza tenda, akazi ya mkubirimu nya Yugandora hawa ni tenda. South Sudan, waji mretele, arazaku muhereze biyokuria, ya heza ishabanji. Na wanti wachabi ino mtimogu. Awandi, wawo na ka tenda, otayutine ka sente, arajenda kugambuire, ato kutayine sente mjimaki, mjereze nyora basi. Kwa mkapo na kazi ya katu wawo na ka tenda kawo, okarete, Ndi kwele za joku ya, wabiteka yo, kuwa la mshashure, mshashure. Nama tu wachami ilo mtima kusi. Kwa nikuwa mtima kukwe endeza na. Nibiona anaka ambira wa ntu uti, uti, wabuzi wawa nyayu ganda vinti murakunda kwa mkati mure endeza. Mkundo mtu wa shange mutamu endeza. 
kecho kure vera ho in abimbenda neva TV vara hani kana kaka ngwa kure vya ineti biye na ba busa ukani sine biya wu iwe ne biya wu ito kamba biya wu ito ba mani rumushi zoku ya arabo na bona ushanga ngwa vi inji mura biyomu mugani apa orang biar na si bi biang gubia apa nene, awak aku jangguh ni muncul no, so mereka tu rezawa antek ini misa, wow dia mau orang mereka kuat kujera ekskusi, yo kubang mau, eh, hati ojo mau orang zagani rajawa, roti nyowe, ingyo mau orang aku jangti ni naba nene naba anjeni, barasa aku apa tak, kan sini waktu saya ubi tu makan biko kababera, biko kababera aje. Iwe tuza yu, awa chota rukwe sikuwa, muni yu mshereke mu ya bapu shiriti. Chai ruko yu mwiyari. So kunga aporo nyowe, uungkwe manjira aporo ebi intubyeye, awa mwetu kashanga bjine, kuwankana nebi yako zireturi nawe, na nuku ya wibo nabo nire, mukama kabamuni. Kande cha achira achira yu, tutukati siba ture huwa na wanyu. I added another message when I reached Mbarara on phone, as you know him. And he asked me to add this message. For instance, he said that much as the, there is a law to mitigate road accidents, i.e. the Road Act 2019, the country has continued registering increased incidences of accidents on our roads, especially those that are caused by trucks that are parked after breaking down. And His Excellency the President asked me to share with you, Monsignor, together with all the members of the congregation, that he is concerned that that act may not be sufficient enough to stop the road carnage in our country. And therefore, His Excellency the President has directed as follows. The Attorney General, Honorable Kirio Wakiwanuka, will on Monday present the cabinet pro to, to Cabinet proposed guidelines to improve the implementation of Section 58 of the Road Act 2019 with a view to make it implementable or fill in the grey gaps which may be there that have continued to cause accidents even when that provision takes care of what would, end, would otherwise would not be happening now. Secondly, His Excellency the President has guided the Attorney General to commence the amendment of the Road Act 2019 with a view to strengthen it in order to mitigate road carnage in the country. He is concerned that even when that provision mentions the actions that should be taken by the motorist when the the vehicle breaks down on the road. For instance, it provides only two hours and that vehicle should have already been towed away. <laughs> it also provides that there should be visible signs to show that there is an accident in that point okay. on either sides of the road with a reasonable distance. And it also provides that all motorists must have uh, effective and efficient reflectors but still we have continued registering unfortunate incidences, like the one which took the life of our, our dear brother. Uh, the other name is difficult a bit for me, but Aponye is very easy for me to mention. So that's why His Excellency the President has guided the Attorney General to do those two points. The other message now, uh, was sudden to learn of the fatal accident which resulted into the untimely death of Apollo Nyegamehe, who is also popularly known as Aponye. 
On behalf of the NRM party, the government, and on behalf of all the people of Uganda, I convey heartfelt sympathies and condolences to the bereaved family. Our hearts go out to the wife, evangelist Mugabirwe, Nyegamehe, and the children upon the loss of a family pillar. I wish to commiserate with the people of Kigezi and all Ugandans upon the loss of a great entrepreneur. The late Apollo Nyegamehe was a big supporter of the NRM and an active actor in the economy. He will be remembered for his business acumen and entrepreneurial spirit, which enabled him to create wealth and jobs for many people. I urge especially the Bazukulu to emulate his example of exploiting the prevailing favorable conditions of peace, stability, good infrastructure, ETC, to create wealth and jobs. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Yeweri Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda. That is it.